hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i will show you how to create a folder if it does not exist in the system and uh, and save the image to the corresponding folder okay i will open the ui path now and i have created a sequence and later i will explain you step by step how did i create and i'll show you how the screen trust need to be taken so i will run it quickly and uh, we'll see and before running this one i have i plan to create a folder inside my UI path folder in the system so in the in the screenshots so i do not have any folder with the date as 23 that is today's date so it will create the folder and it will take the screenshots based on the web page uh, i created in the sequence and running this one now just check it out so it has launched the google and uh, the next step is clicked on the business link and it has taken the screenshot and closed right sequence is executed and quickly i'll check this one so the create folder is created because the folder does not exist with 23 and if you see the screenshot the google home page is taken and also another one google business page is also taken and we have named the screenshots as 2301 that is 2301 and uh, 1114 is the time so if i rerun this folder if i rerun this sequence as a folder is already exist in the system it will not create another folder just it will take the screenshots i'll try to rerun it it has uh, launched the google taking the screenshot for google home page now it will click the business link and uh, it will take the screenshot of the business page and the execution is completed okay now if you go back and see there's no folder extra created is only one folder is available out of this and if you open it so there is a screenshot taken at the time of 15 right there is one 15 and another one google 15 so i will explain you what exactly happened so in this one directory dot get directories and within this folder okay that is uh, e drive ui path screenshots so under this it will take the list of all the folders available in this directory in this directory i am using the for loop and in the for loop and uh, in this file list it will verify whether this folder is available or not that folder is that is today's date date underscore today's date because i want to create the folder with today's date so that i will every time when i run the scripts it will create a new folder based on the date so i want to create this with date format date underscore today's date okay so this is today's date and if it as if it is not available if it is then if available it will not create if it is else if it is not available it will create a folder that is new folder new folder is available variable for me so if you go here so new folder and new folder is creating under the drive under the screenshots with this name okay and after that what i'm doing is uh, just for the take for the for the sake of taking screenshots i've opened a google page and i'm taking the screenshot of this one i'm saving the screenshot within the the newly created page newly created folder so under this folder i'm creating it so what is the folder name the f the folder name is screenshot folder the screenshot folder is so if you see screenshot folder path screenshot folder path is uh, so ui screenshots under this this folder under this folder it will create the screenshots okay i hope you have seen this one now i will create a quickly a new sequence and i will explain you how it will work okay so go to a new sequence okay new sequence and in this new sequence i'll create a assign now. in this assign i'll create a variable as uh, list of files okay list of files as a variable add this list of variables this is the list of all the things so it will it, it should it should be an array so i'm selecting the array of strings so i'm selecting the string and uh, here i will use as uh, 
list of files and I need to get the list of folders from one of the what so directory directory dot get directories okay and uh, the path name is this one okay so for uh, simplicity what i will do is i'll create this i'll delete this folder okay and i'm creating this this one now under this drive and for example if i delete even this one also so after this if i use the for loop uh, activity now okay for each so okay for each of list of files okay i'll use if activity and uh, in the if activity and because i need to see in the contains under this so i should be in the string this is all this is strings so i'll use item dot contains item dot contains i'll use simply for for simplify i'll use my name itself okay salim folder exists or not so if the name if the folder name is salim exists then don't create if does not exist create a folder okay create a folder create a folder under this path okay under this path what is the name of the folder should be salim if does not exist yes or no so i'll quickly run this one and we'll check so there is no folder called salim i'll run this one now so execution is completed and see its folder salim is created if i rerun this one the folder will not create again see the folder is not created so if i want to create the folder with the current date every time so there is so we'll use this one as okay so create the folder day folder should be like this for me i want the folder name to be date underscore with today's date plus no dot to string so if you, if you don't know how to take a screenshot just look at my previous video then you will understand okay fine and uh, what i'll do is i'll create i'll create this as a variable so that it will be easy for me okay just go to the argument as a new file okay and the i'll put it in the double quotes and in this one i want to create the folder to be as dt underscore plus no dot to string okay this is my the new folder need to be created with the current date now so as the folder does not exist with the current date i'll quickly run this one okay so because i need to put uh, this one new folder as a path instead of putting the full path i'm creating the variable and rerunning this one okay so error validation error as okay this does not exist quickly check so in this one the fold this is does not available i'll run this one now see the execution is completed as create the folder with the current date so i will do is uh, i'll quickly create a take a screenshot and we'll show you how it works and uh, save image okay so this image i'll put it in the variable okay so 
pick as variable for me and I'll use as pick and uh, this image name is uh, new pick okay and the extension should be dot png you can use any extension so where should i save this one so i should save this one under the screenshot folder screenshot folder so where should i save this one under this new folder i should save so what i'll do is i'll take this as my folder for the screenshots okay so under this folder i should uh, save this one okay so what i'll do is uh, i'll keep the path of the screenshot what is the variable screenshot okay so i'll save this and run now so it will always take the active uh, active active page screenshot so execution is completed already so if you see 23 it has taken the screenshot as a new pic okay i hope you understood how to create a folder if it does not exist and also with the current uh, current date why it is useful to create a current date is because sometimes we will get the files from some other uh, uh, some other source and uh, and you have to copy those files into a, our uh, local directory with the current date so at that time it was useful to create a folder with the current date and uh, and copy that and also take a screenshot of it okay i hope you understood this one thanks for watching this and please subscribe to my channel thank you